Hi, this is Dave from LA Sound Design, and I wanted to go over my um, the signal chain and inspiration for my personal boards, which I use to play through most of the time when I'm in the shop. Um, I have two boards here, uh, a satellite board and then my main board. Uh, the satellite board is um, uh, basically, the signal chain is, it goes into this shin clean boost, which... Um, what that does is it shapes the tone in a way that gets rid of all the transient edges of the notes, makes the mids more complex, and kind of tightens up the low end. And it's just a magical pedal. I don't know, for some reason, the, what it does to the sound of the guitar, it just refines everything and makes it more, I guess, tuby. Um, so that's always on. I go through that first. Um, then I go into the um, a loop box, a dual loop box that has a loop for a 1972 Maestro phaser, which is one of the best phasers I've ever heard. Just there's something the character of it. Uh, this was used by Jimmy Page, uh, Led Zeppelin, uh, mainly by uh, uh, Frank Marino, Mahogany Rush. And Alex Lifeson really made it famous on a lot of the early Rush albums. It was this phaser. So that's in a loop box. Uh, it has a single loop for that. And then it goes into this Ivor fuzz, which is a replica of a 1967 uh, fuzz face, Dallas Arbiter, uh, that Hendrix used that particular year in sound with the NKTs in it. Uh, it's just pure Hendrix. So I love, I love that. And that's also in... Um, in the loop box because I found that both of these obviously they're not true bypass they they color they tend to color when they're when they're all the time so I put them in this then it goes into the chase tone secret preamp which just is an amazing tone shaper as far as adding a character of high end and mid-range as well I mean the, the this is affecting the guitar and this is affecting the sound before the board. I'm actually kind of using this as a glorified echoplex buffer, kind of, kind of giving it that sound. So it goes through the chase tone, uh, secret preamp, and uh, that's the satellite board, uh, which goes in front of the main board. And I wanted this to not be to change the character of the main board going through these several pedals, so I wired the uh, loop box internally with Belden with the same Belden that this board is wired in and this Belden has a very low capacitance so it doesn't color at all it's very clear doesn't weigh the signal down so I can keep the clarity into the main board so that's why I designed it the way it is now the main board is designed uh, kind of inspired by Eric Johnson and his setup from years ago when I used to watch you know his three amp setup and I thought how cool it was to have individual tones for each of the sounds you're going for um, I had the guys at Road Rage design this box for me the difference between what he does and what I do is I designed the three chains to go into a single amp as opposed to three different amps because I didn't want to get as you know involved in having to cart three amps everywhere um, so the chain basically goes into this interface, which is passive. Then it goes into this Road Rage uh, loop box with basically three loops in it. Um, the first loop, which is the clean tone that I go for, is a Catalan bred Echo Rec, kind of emulating an old Echoplex, Memory Man Echoplex kind of sound with a little bit of modulation on it. And then into the Super Moon, Mr. Black Super Moon for like a kind of kind of airy kind of reverb 
So that is my main clean sound that I like to use. And I didn't want to color it at all, so that's why it's only those two pedals in the chain. Not even the volume pedal is in that chain. That's even separate. So none of these other pedals, it's just those two. And then if I hit the um, clean button off, it goes to the lead chain, which the lead chain basically is this um, Oxbow Studios Wah, which is a replica of a Clyde. And it is, it is exactly the sound of a Clyde. It's amazing. It's got the same tropical fish in it. It's got the hand-wound inductor. Um, I mean, it's an incredible Hendrix, Clapton, Page. It's that 60s wah sound that I love so much and the, with the uh, vocal mid-range character, mainly. And then that goes into the um, uh, Vibro, which is an incredible company out of Austin makes a replica of the original 60s Univox Univibe and uh, that's that's my favorite one it sounds like it it's full it's fat it's huge it's got that Hendrix tone that I go for and then after that it goes into the Tejas boost by XTS which is basically a tone shaper for the lead sound it fattens it thickens it's their version of a color sound power boost that David Gilmore used uh, it allows me to drive my uh, overdrives and change the tone of them give them more bottom end make them darker just by turning it on then I go into the shin dumbloid pedal which does my fresh cream Eric Clapton kind of sounds that I'm into uh, I love that kind of woody uh, marshally sound you know that he got on that first album and then that goes into the precision overdrive which is my, this particular one is my favorite Tube Screamer type pedal. It's just really fat and round and organic and this particular one just seemed to have a little bit more body to it than the other ones that I heard that Greg Walton at XTS uh, had made and uh, when I heard it I said I had to have it and uh, we called it Clapton because it had this certain Clapton sound to it that was just really special so I go into that, and then that goes into uh, the volume pedal here, uh, and then feeds, um, let me see, then it goes into the um, Echo Machine uh, by Ibanez uh, from back, you know, from many years ago. It's my favorite delay because it never gets in the way. Uh, it just sounds kind of like an old Echoplex somewhat but it just you can just leave it set it and you only hear it when you stop playing it never gets overblown, and it sounds great going in front of amps <clears throat> and then after i go through the echo machine i go into the dynaverb for my lead reverb which is a little darker little little uh more studio sounding um not as bright as the super moon for clean and again, another pedal that kind of gets out of the way. The suit, I have it set on like a plate reverb. And I, I, you know, it has a tone knob so I can dial in the amount that I want to hear. So after that's the lead chain. When I go to the rhythm chain, it goes into this third stone, which is my silicon fuzz made by uh, Craig Burkos. Amazing sounding fuzz for my later Hendrix kind of influence stuff. Uh, if I want the more aggressive electric lady and Woodstock, you know, over the top kind of gainier, uh, I use that. And then that use, goes into this fuzzy tube driver, which XTS made years ago, which emulates a dirty amp. Uh, when I use it by itself, it sounds like a kind of red house, axis bold as love kind of sound. Kind of like, almost kind of like a turned up fender. Um, that's my rhythm tone and then I can add the third stone into it to simulate a dirty amp so if I'm running through the clean amp it doesn't sound like a buzzsaw so that's my rhythm tone goes between you know these other pedals and that uh, that also feeds the volume pedal and the echo machine and the dynaverb so basically I'm switching between the clean chain these two pedals go to my lead chain which is the wah Univibe, Tejas, Dumbloid, Precision, Volume, Echo Machine, Dynaverb, Rhythm Tone, Third Stone, Fuzzy Tube Driver, Volume, Echo Machine, Dynaverb. 
And then at the end of the chain, I have a tunnel worm flanger just as on the lead side, just for like that house burning down Hendrix thing or Highlandrons, you know, tape flanging, kind of like in the late 60s. So that's the vibe I'm going for with that. Now the amp platform that I'm using for my board, which kind of took a while to kind of dial in what I was going for, um, I'm really inspired by the late 60s uh, Fresh Cream and Hendrix tones. And um, that was a JTN 45100, uh, which was the first Marshall that was made, uh, the first 100 watt uh, version. Uh, and it was based off a, a Tweed, uh, Tweed Basement, and it just has this um, bloom and this clarity, and the, there's something about the compression and the and the bloom of it, and and it being very woody and natural uh, that I fell in love with, and the fact that um, it uses KT66s, and this one I happen to have Gentle X, which are the vintage ones from back in the 60s and 70s, uh, and Muller preamp tubes. Um, this particular amp was designed by Valve Storm, um, which they uh, they did uh, they do replicas, and they used all the vintage mustards and all the vintage uh, caps and stuff to be as close to the original as possible. Um, and then I had my friend Kerry, uh, who passed recently, who was one of the most the best cabinet maker I've ever come across, and he was a really good friend. He designed this custom head shell. Uh, for me to match the cabinet that he made as well and this uh, this cabinet has the EC Collins grill cloth which is a replica of what they used in the 60s which seems to filter out high end and 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 smooth everything out because of how thick it was um, and I have 1972 Celestian greenbacks which I bought from Mike Landau he was kind enough to sell me a quad which you know was really nice of him and they just sound incredible there's something about those old pre-rolla celestians they just have this sound that you can't get today so i had that in there um and then carrie made the uh head shell to match with the ec collins as well and i kind of give it a martial look but the the jtm 45 just has a really beautiful it can have a really chimey clean sound that's really warm and then it can go really lush uh, with the lead tone so I can get both both the sounds my clean sounds my rhythm sounds and my lead sounds through that one platform uh, because I dialed in the amp to uh, but the, most of the sounds are coming from the pedal board so that's where it's realized and then I can go to any platform as an amp but this one seems to, to work the best I can also run this in front of my twin plex uh, my 170 watt twin plex if I want a little bit more fendery thing out of out of the sound this is my also my uh, blanket chip twin plex which I use um, or I have a 50 watt blanket chip plexi at home that can also be the platform I go into with the same boards so I have different amp choices with the same character of pedals because the EQ is already determined in the board and then I can just choose my amp I might have to tweak the amp a little bit but I can get my sounds into whatever platform I want uh, just by changing amps. So that's how I it was um, how I designed it.
Thank you.